Hey friends and welcome to Nora's Cove. I'm your Sheeta and today I'm going to tell you why and what you should plan during a pandemic or what at least what I'm planning and why I'm planning during a pandemic. Um, I want to get straight to the point but I don't want to be long-winded per usual but um, I know when this thing first started happening I kind of was in a planner slump. I didn't feel as though there was you know a lot to plan. I think I was just like kind of in shock. So one thing I noticed that I needed was to track my mood. I didn't pick that up until later. I'll start back with, excuse me. Um, what you need, why you need to plan, you should plan for like your sanity and for a little bit of normalcy for you. Um, you can memory plan, you can track the days of how long this is going. I've been seeing people do that and just kind of record what's going on here, you know, throughout just not in your state or your town or your city but in the world now what to plan you can plan your kids online classes you can plan your meals um show you my meal planning which i do in a couple of different places it's in here it's under wetness it's in home so here's my meal planning and this insert is my cloth and paper and I plan daily for my meals. I'm trying to get used to using an insert, but it does come in handy. You can run, have a running grocery list over here. So if nothing else, you can plan out your groceries, um, maybe even cooking if you're starting to cook. Um, again, like I said, you can plan your kids' online classes. You can plan exercise. Um, I listened to a video the other day and a podcast and I took notes. And I have my notes here, plus my notes of what I wanted to talk to you all about. Then something I started to do, I made a zone cleaning. When I kind of snapped out of it a little bit, I made a zone cleaning insert. You can find this in my Etsy shop. And I just started breaking down my zones. Then I made a um, task card with it. And this gives you a chance to be creative as well. Um, I used just the flags I got from AliExpress. These task cards, they're in my Amazon shop. Check my Amazon um, shop out. And these tests, these clear task cards, they're in there. This is how they come, like that. And then I got these sticky flags from AliExpress. And I just used a labeler to make them. So again, you can do some zone cleaning. You can break down your zones. You can break down your projects of cleaning. I also have a task uh, that's in here. A task insert that I'm currently loving. It is a breakdown of my zone cleaning. Uh, let me explain. I think I've explained this, but this is my extension planner. And I wanted to write out my zone cleaning so that way it'll be a little fresh to my mind. I can remember and again like I said before once you write it down it becomes real um, also I'm you know planning like t uh, declutter I'm using that as tasks like what to declutter what I've done and then mark it off as I as I'm doing it new home projects a lot of people are getting a lot of home projects done I am um, I've taken notes type up some notes and then here is a cleaning schedule from um, Simply Trendy Co. Y'all, I thought this was April and checked off all the days that I did the dishes or whatever, and now I gotta redo it. But that's something that you can track. Um, also, I started tracking my headaches. Let me go to my wellness section. Um, it hit me one day. I, you know, when this thing first started, once I got my bills moved back, I did not panic. I said, oh cool, my bills are moved back? I'm going to chill. I'm going to relax. I was at ease. I was enjoying it. Then my coworkers started talking about going back to work and I noticed my mood changed. I noticed that I was having a headache. I noticed I was getting a little bit of anxiety that I hadn't had this whole time. So I bought this uh, mood insert from Peanuts Planner Co. And I just started tracking my moods and it has been kind of you know, changing, life changing for me to let me see when my mood change, why does it change? Um, at first I was like, I think I might need some help with this because I've never really tracked my moods. I know I'm a little, you know, to the left sometimes, but this let me see why. And I'm going to start doing the weather stickers so just in case it's the weather. And then I started tracking 
my headaches because they kind of sometimes coincide. So that's something else you can track. You can track your health, like your fitness, your working out, your grocery list, your meals. It's just so much. Um, even like if you want to do habit tracking, like here, my little sea moss smoothies, two minute hot spot, laundry, um, my Instagram. I started tracking my Instagram posts because I'll go without posting. <laughs> and um, especially on my hair um, page, I'm trying to get better at it. So I listed here as a, ha as a habit tracker. I'm trying to be more intentional with my YouTube posting. So that's here. Um, my Facebook group, um, just walk walking and working out. That's not working out for me because I'm not doing it, but I still write it down just in case. Um, what to buy, what you need to buy, what you need to order. Um, what you need to pay, you still, some of us still have bills to pay. You can still track your bills or what bills got deferred. It's just so much that you can do. And that's why I decided, well, it was good to do the extension planner because with this, it's an extension really of my everyday carry, but even the extra stuff that, um, I want to start planning like my tasks and it allows me to kind of play with different inserts, you know, journaling, <clears throat> I started journaling because, like I said, this was just taking me, you know, I realized something wasn't clicking, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like with me, I mean, I felt like I was just taking it way too cool and I'm normally on edge about stuff like this. And then I realized once again, like when my coworker started talking about going back to work, I felt like it was too soon and it just, I developed a little bit of anxiety about it. So I decided to start journaling my moods. And that's sitting here. Should be here. So I just started journaling my moods. And some days it's good. And just some days, for the past three days, I've been on edge. And I've just been writing down, you know, how I'm feeling. And, you know, good things, bad things. And don't go into much detail. But the main thing that stuck on my mind that day. Um, the other day I talked to my coworkers. And they talked about going back to work. And I just... I'm just not mentally ready. I, don't, I think it's too soon for me. Um, my husband takes care of his mother, his elderly mother, and I just don't want to risk getting her sick. So that caused me a little anxiety. Any time I talk about going back to work, I get a little depressed. So um, I've been tracking that. So whatever sticks out in my mind that day, um, I write it down. So journaling is helping. At first I was like, I don't have time to journal. I can do some affirmations, but I don't have time. I have nothing but time. So those are just some things I think that you could plan for in this pandemic. That's the reasons why I'm planning. To me, that is my why. Trying to keep up. And some people are memory planning, you know. Um, I don't do a lot of memory planning. So my way of memory planning is like, <laughs> let me show you. I just look at my kids because I see them every day now, all day. So I took a picture. That's one. Let me find the other one. Probably my birthday month. Came out. I'm trying to find a picture that oh here it is. So I took this picture when they were younger and I printed it out and then to see them now, you know. So that's my way of kind of memory planning is just looking at them because I'm seeing them every day now. So I don't technically kind of see them growing because I can just see them every day. They're not in school. Um, my daughter's home from college, my son is arising. So I mean freshmen. So just to see them at this age, see them every day. And then this was back around Christmas. So that's my way of kind of memory planning. Just take some old pictures and I just look at them. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, look at them. They've grown. You know, even though I'm here with them every day, that is the way I'm memory planning. You know, even I have some pictures. I don't have pictures of me and my husband in here, but some of those will just pop up and I've just been saving them to my phone. So how are you guys doing during this pandemic? I hope that you all are doing well. Um, I'm praying for your safety. And also, how are you planning during this pandemic? I would love to hear. And I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you soon. Bye.